Are your slack adjuster boots torn? And you need an easy fix? You came to the right place. Continue watching, we're gonna show you how to replace these boots. That's okay, because we're on. So here we are looking underneath of a truck. We're looking at the slack adjuster. And if you see, it's got a little boot on here, a little grease boot, right? And you can see it is ripped and the grease is just coming out of it. Try to unblur that for you. So oftentimes this happens just with age and heavily over greasing. It'll just end up popping it out. So if you notice the grease is coming out on your boot, on your slack adjusters, maybe it's time to replace it. Let's find out how. So first thing you wanna do is take off these little clips. As you can see, both, I'll unblur that sucker, both pins going through your fork have uh, these little cotter pins on them. We're gonna wanna go ahead and take those off. So first step when doing this, go ahead and chalk your wheels, put some blocks down, release your brakes. I don't move on to step two. Yeah, Got some needle nose pliers here. Twist. Just twist it and pull up and it comes right off. Too easy. Ready for the next step? I'll put this right here. And then we gotta go from the top. So we're gonna go ahead and back off the brakes. You got these tools, it makes it even easier. Otherwise you can just get a socket on there. I think it's 5.30 seconds. Now, if you're looking on top, there's gonna to be a little tiny adjustment screw. You're gonna to wanna to get that on there. And you know you're going the right way when this starts to back out. Go ahead, take that tool off. You can leave this one on here or take it off. It really doesn't matter. It might be in your way. Now we're ready for the almighty hammer. All right, what you want to do that? Kind of clean it up a little bit so you can see what you're doing. Make it rain. There's a closer look at it. Uh, we got some top secret information on how to actually get this thing out. Don't tell anybody this. I can't. So you can see exactly <laughs> where we're hitting. Just to break that seal and pop it out. Spring right behind it. So you leave the tool on there. And just pull it out. Leave the tool and go ahead and twist and pull that guy out. And that's what we're looking at. That we can go ahead and clean it up real good. Disgusting, right? Someone's got to do it, though. Do you want to see the inside of the S cam board or the slack tester board? Make sure to clean up that ceiling area right there. Otherwise, it's going to be hard to get in. All right, so we got the new boot. So I'm gonna slide that center portion right over it. And just 
locked into place. And it locks into place right there. There's a groove, There's a groove right there. As long as you got that brake release tool on there, you shouldn't have an issue getting it into place. I, I, I remove the tool once I send it to record it. Okay, once you remove that tool, it locks it in there. And now we can go ahead and press that bushing onto that slack adjuster. What size socket we got here? A 33. Oh shoot, let's do it. See, this is top secret stuff right here. Beautiful, right? Damn. So you may be saying to yourself, well, that was easy. Anyone could do that. Yeah, but nobody wants to. And that's why we're here. Now we're gonna get that adjustment tool back on there so we can go ahead and bring it in and put those pins in. To get a line up right here. Oh, yeah, look at that. Ain't nothing like some clear holes, right? Most important part of being under a truck, don't hit your head. Guaranteed it's gonna happen every time. That's perfect, right? And now if there's any issues with those clips, go ahead and replace them with uh, cotter pins or any like items. And here's the boot in case you need it. Hey, one thing I do want to mention is you're going to have some flex on this one. You see it's not, it's not perfectly straight down. It's kind of at an angle. It's kind of a little awkward right there. Uh, that's perfectly normal and it is acceptable since it kind of uh, made it itself into the groove on the inside. So once it greases it, it's gonna just hold it in place and it'll be fine. So that's not an issue if you see it like that. So in this case, we're gonna go ahead and get some new cotter pins and just make it easy. Best thing about this is, next person try to take it off, oh, it's gonna suck for them. As you can see, just a little twist, we can go ahead and bend that cotter pin. That's it, sitting now, same thing with the other one. It's like you're going into surgery right now. Gotta be careful, look at the camera. Yeah, it was beautifully done, right? All right, so now it's time for the last couple steps. We're gonna go ahead and adjust the brake on this side. Well, we're gonna end up doing both. But well, we're gonna go ahead and adjust this one, get out of the way, and then grease the slack adjuster. 
All right, adjusting it, pretty simple. We're gonna go ahead and get this to go all the way in. So the brake shoes are flush against the drum. And then we're just gonna back it off half a turn. Okay, the tool gets tight. The shoes are flush against the drum there. And this isn't moving anymore. So once it's tightened all the way down, it may be a little difficult to get the proper half a turn. So we like to use a 5 16 wrench. We get the release tool on there. We'll just go ahead and spin it around and back it off half a turn. Okay. And I'm gonna back it off. Half a turn. Okay, and it was that simple. Boom. Eight millimeter or five sixteenths. Once that's done, you can go ahead and grease it with the grease dirt right there. Fill it up, and you're done. So I'm gonna continue on and do the rest of these because all of these are ripped, all of them. But there you go, that's all there is to it. Let me know if you got any questions. Hit that like button and subscribe. Tell all your friends about this. Remember, these make perfect Christmas presents.